You know, like in La Plantation, big. I repeat it again for that be easy to understand it all of us, okay? When we done a presentation, we let you try our product. After that, I'll let you try the pattern, okay? This is a picture of La Plantation. La Plantation, we just started in 2013. The owner is coming from France and Baden. This is owner picture and owner project. This guy, Mr. Guy Poiré, he coming from Baden. And the lady, Madame Nathalie, is on here. So her coming from France. You know when they come not in Cambodia, they combine a business with tourism and develop the social project. This area as well, you know when they come now, they support 100 students in a primary school down this village. We are offering a book and a bicycle every new year for our students. Especially also, you know, the extra salary for teachers to teach them our whole day. And they always choose three best school that going on to study a private secondary school in Kampong so far and until finish our university. As well in here we sell four kind of men products, but we got only three men products we have this week. We have it, comfort pepper, long pepper, turmeric in English, kukuma in French, kukuma in Germany. And the last talking we don't have our own family, but we cooperate with a partner in Kampot, we call sea salt also. Long time ago, the black pepper is the one that two open there in the region of Kerala. This one is grow in the forest along the tree flat in the picture. After that, the plant were transported and growing in a tropical area, fell in Brazil, Madagascar, and the southeast of Asian country. Do you know in Asian time, the pepper has been used for medicine for people living in China and in India country to prevent cancer and to protect a small odor illness. The history of Kampot pepper, you know. Since the 13th century, when the Chinese farmer arriving in our country, they start growing pepper plantation because the quality of soy was exceptionally to grow a pepper. After that, at the end of 19th, beginning of 20th century, you know, when the French protectorate of French colonization in our country, many French people come out a lot, they develop more and more pepper plantation in Kampo. Basically, you know, annual product reached 8,000 tons with a more than million pepper pork in story. So at that time, Kampo pepper was mainly exported to France with the reputation one of the best in the world. Unfortunately, during civil war in our country, you know, in 1975 to 1979, you know, Khmer Rouge, so the pepper plantation was abandoned. But in gradually, we started again in 2000 when a new generation returned back of their land. So right now, we're spending 18 years ago for pepper growing in Kampot Province. In 2010, you know, Kampot pepper is the first chemical product receiving European lab for as PGI area, as well as uh, Lapel also this one. It means like, we get a PGI area mean, PGI mean protected geographical indication. Product mean it is in a specific region or original region. You know in the world we have only two kind of pepper have PGI, 
The first one we call Kampot pepper in Cambodia, and the second one is Pancha peppers coming from Cameroon, Africa. Also, you know, in 2010, Kampot pepper, we have 387 member farms or member place. We put a thought camp for the abbreviation KPPA or KPPA. You mean like KPPA means Kampot pepper promotion association. Protect the Kampot pepper PTI from fact of Kampot pepper. In the whole area of Kampot Province, you know, we cannot grow it all. We just only get five districts can grow, have a PGI area. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Yeah, pomegranate. Oh. We're planning to grow this one. One year and have to get a result of the fruit. The fruit right now very expensive. Per kilo in Cambodia, we get around like four or six dollars per kilogram. But the country, one piece, you get three to five dollars. But the asset very expensive on this four. We got four or five pieces of the, the fruit. White snake. In Cambodia we call white snake. It's dangerous. It's dangerous, you know. Yeah. When they bite you guys, you always get a sleepy and sleepy. If you sleeping, it's dying. Okay, not like cobra. Cobra is a poisonous. You yeah. get the black one and then the, the brown one. This one we call white snake. Are we dying? Are they bong slap eye? Is that a reading? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so this is a play with separate thing, okay? We see it like the tiny like this one. We don't do it to make black like we do the salted pepper, okay? Because still a baby fruit. The green one is full mature, it's in a big basket, okay? The full mature is red and the dark green. Because we do it to make red, white and then black, okay? This one no, we do only the salted one. As like this one, like we said, it's the fly with seafood. Crab from squid, it's like a fantastic mm. one, okay? But cannot keep for long, only one week or ten days, it's gone off. Mm -hmm. Hi, it's the owner in the picture, huh? Yeah. It's the lady from France. Uh. Okay, so this is a campfire pepper from one plant, one berry. We got four times different process. We have salted white, red, and the black one. Okay, the first step we use a flowering like this way. After that, get a baby fruit come up. Also, get like this way. After that, get a tiny baby, and then get a full mature, start green, over mature is a red color. Also, so this is dragon fruit guys. See? The first we use the flowering, after that the flowering comes dry, down. The green on the top of the plant starts growing bigger and bigger like this on it. This is a dragon fruit, okay? Long way more. Inside to take a picture, no problem. No snake? Yeah, no